Good evening, Rotarians. Good evening. Um, the Reaper and your Anne, the district chair, PGD Shamila Bhatt, all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen. A good evening to you all. I bring you warm greetings from Centenary Bank, and more especially from our managing director, Fabian Kersey, who wouldn't be here today. It is with great pleasure that I join you today with our Centenary team. The Centenary team in the house, please stand up for recognition wherever you are and make some noise. Yes, thank you very much. We are here as the Centenary team as we celebrate service that changes lives, thereby transforming humanity. It is great to see Rotary standing strong today in Arusha, and I want to congratulate each one of you upon weathering the COVID storm, which makes us appreciate the air we breathe and the gift of togetherness that I see tonight. I'm going to talk about the main thing of tonight, and that is our marriage. Our maiden journey, together with Rotary, started in 2010. And this has grown stronger every year. Centenary Bank appreciates the Rotary leadership in Uganda and Tanzania and beyond for the noble acts of service you are championing under the different Rotary programs. We are proud to be part of this journey for the last 11 years as a major sponsor and particularly for this DCA as a gold level sponsor. Such, humani such humanitarian causes directly relate to our mission as a bank, where we seek to transform lives, especially of the rural poor, which is a testament to the great value we attach to the communities we serve. Our service to humanity is made possible with the complement of our 88 branches, spread across the country, 5,500 agents. We serve over 2.5 million customers, which means that of the banking population, one out of four, four people is a customer of Centenary Bank. And testament into this house, I'd like to believe that all Rotary clubs and Rotary clubs have accounts with Centenary, and I salute you, our customers. I would also like to inform you that we take Rotary very, very seriously. 95% of our managers in the 88 branches belong to the Rotary fraternity. And these are the people who are entrenched in the communities. I borrow a leaf from the Reaper when he said that we need to be aware of the needs of the communities. Our branch managers stand instead for us, understanding the needs of the poor, the women, the men, the circles, investment clubs at individual business and sector level. We empower our agriculture sector enterprises through lending 20% of our business, uh, which is a, a business of three trillion loanable funds to the sector of agriculture, where everyone falls at the majority of the population. The bank now belongs to a holding group named the Center Group, and our horizon shall be expanded beyond the Ugandan borders very soon and probably we could be coming to Tanzania. Our oneness with Rotary, last night we talked about our oneness with Rotary. It spans both the districts of 9213, 
and the districts of 9214. We are happy to have been the platinum sponsors of District 9213 and now the gold sponsors of District 9214. Our friendship and partnership with Rotary for the last 11 years, we have partnered with a number of programs which contain the Bridging the Cancer Gap, screening of the cervical cancer in women, over 10,000 women, financial literacy in all our radios and cancer parents. We have attended all the annual cancer marathons, the family health days. Among others, we are now shifting our focus to malaria, the malaria project in Uganda and all over. Our sustainability agenda, yearly we dedicate 2% of our annual profits to corporate social responsibility. We continue to appreciate the shared humanity, values of Rotary and Centenary Bank that have enabled us to make a difference in our communities. We are at our best, ladies and gentlemen, when we are serving the needs of the communities we live in and thrive in. We will listen. Yesterday, the young lady told us we shall listen and listen better. We shall have compassion, ladies and gentlemen, and we will act accordingly to Governor Peace Talemwa. In line with Rotary commitment to change lives, we do pledge our continued support towards the Rotary programs and are open to discussing, collaborating with you on existing and new initiatives, including the linear cancer equipment, which we pledged that we must see to the end. Our business is to support and grow our people. We must appreciate you, Rotary, for the business you entrusted with us. From Rotary, Rotary, Rotary District, and at individual and business level, we want to continue adding the building blocks of wealth to you and your businesses, so that we can all be able to generate the one dollar that has been asked of us, that Rotary needs to make a difference. You can only give what you have. Centenary is at hand to be able to walk that journey with you. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I must thank you for being such good partners, customers, and friends. I'd like to, to thank PGD Shamila and her team for a great 97th DCA. I'll take home the good memories and good tidings to my management. Lastly, I take this opportunity to heartily thank, congratulate our outgoing governor, Yankee Maru, for a good job well done. Thank you very much. And now, at this juncture, I'd like to also congratulate the incoming governor, Peace Talemwa, to do the very best. And we shall act with you. Thank you very, very much.